Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. In this session, we will discuss the projection of planes problem solving in Solid Edge software. Okay, uh, we will discuss the in this session. We will discuss the problem number six. So the question is given like this: a 30 degree 60 degree set square of 60 mm longest side is so kept such that the longest side is in HP, making an angle of 30 degree with VP. Full stop. The set square itself is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Full stop. Draw the projection of the set square. So this is the question is given in problem number six, or we can say example number six in a VTU primer. Okay, as we know, we have to do this problem in first quadrant. First, we will take the line and normal line, and we will draw it on the left click on the left side. You can click it and then move exactly horizontal so we have a two option either you can use the alignment indication like this when it when you move exactly horizontal line it will show dash indication or else you can use you can directly enter the angle here 180 degree so we can get the horizontal line and then right click to terminate so like this we can draw the uh, line xy line and after that go to the text the text we can the font size should be 5 and then here we can enter x and here we can write y capital x and capital y and here it will be capital vp and below x y line we can write capital hp because this is the first quadrant representation and next so the given set square the resting condition they given the longest side is resting so the resting condition we are keeping on the left side so that's why the longest side they given 60 mm long so we have to click the line if we can click the starting point and the line the resting condition we will keep the perpendicular to xy so that's why uh, we can enter the length because we know the length so we can enter your 60 and angle when you're moving downside the angle will come negative so that's why we can enter minus 90 and then press enter in the keyboard see the line is uh, created line is created we can give check the dimension go to the small dimension option and you can select the line you can click it outside the small dimension it's showing the length 60 so select the small dimension and select when uh, selecting means left click select the line and click the outside then right click for termination so then the remaining is they give on the set square the angle 30 degree 60 degree so we can take uh, any one side they not mention which side to be taken 30 degree and which side to be taken 60 any one side you can take 30 and any one side you can take 60 and for that you can go to the one end of the line and you can just draw the line simply you draw the line two lines like this you can just draw the line one line here and other line is here simply you draw these two lines and next we can go to the angle between option that comes in in the distance between option if you click the small down pull menu here, you can see the angle between option select this angle between option and select the first baseline and this edge here uh, if you select the two edges it will show angle indication you can click the angle and you can uh, before right click it will in the ribbon bar you can see the modification you can you can change the angle here so this side you can enter 30 any day de any degree you can enter or either 30 or 60 i am taking 30 degree so like this uh, when you enter the 30 degree it will be altered again you click it the angle between option and select the line and then again the baseline again you click between the line inside you click it then uh, actual angle is 38 but we want how much 60 enter 60 then press enter in that so the angle is changed so 30 degree 60 degree came and now you can use the trim option here in the uh, option you can drawing view option you can trim you can get the trim option select the trim option and trim the extra lines okay now the finally we got the 30 degree 60 degree set square with the longest side 60 mm is resting here and next after finishing this uh, uh, to get the uh, naming before going to the next step we can give the naming so you can give the naming here all naming should be a lower case a and here we can give the naming b and here we can give the naming c abc naming is finished and then to get the front view go to the line select the normal line and from the end here you can draw the line up to the xy perpendicular line you can draw it and then from the c also you can draw the exact perpendicular line 
when you are moving perpendicular line it will show the vertical indication you can see next to the cursor cursor option you can see the vertical dash so that indicates you are moving exactly 90 if you move away it will not show so see I am moving exactly 90 or else you can enter the angle 90 degree here in the angle option the line will restrict it to 90 degree only and you can reach the xy line and you can click it then right click so like this we can get the projection lines and between those two projection lines we can draw the front view with the visible line because that is a profile and here from the end of this line after showing end point indication then only click it don't click anywhere if without showing the end indication so don't click like this so when it show end point indication then only you have to click left click and then reach the other end on the along the xy again left click then right click so like this the front view is over here and while giving the naming here the b is the first a is second so we can give the naming b dash and a is hidden we can use the single quote here b dash then open bracket then a dash then close the bracket and here it will be c dash the first step is finished and before going to the first the second step we can check the dimension of this because next step it is needed so it is 25.98 okay keep it in that and then again go to line visible line because here the surface that means the set square itself is inclined uh, 45 degree to HP so the set square itself is inclined 45 degree to HP so here we have to make this front view inclined to HP 45 degree so that's why you can click the first point resting point B dash A dash here and the length of the line the same line we have to make inclination here the length we know that that is you can enter in the ribbon bar on the length section 25.98 then press enter now the length is restricted next it will angle angle we know 45 degree they given so go to the angle option here enter the angle 45 press enter see the angle is arrested to 45 degree and now check the angle here you can check it see the angle is 45 degree it is there and then uh, you can move the naming so go to the move option in a drawing view so you can go to the move option here we have to switch on the copy option why because uh, the naming should be placed here you can type it instead of that already we have a option directly you can copy and you can paste if you switch on the copy it will make number of copies so then after activating this command select the text first then pick the text and then paste it so totally we have to do the three clicks then right click for termination first click for selection second click for uh, picking and third click for pasting and then right click so like this we can move the naming and then after moving the namings you can go to the line normal line and projections to do the for get the top view we have to do the projections and from here b dash of a dash when you show end indication then only click it click it and come down so when you reach the b you can switch on the alignment indicator instead of drawing extra line and trimming we can use the alignment indicator and you can go to just b and you can come back to the 90 degree vertical and when you reach the b alignment it will show the dash indication and then you can click it there itself and then come back to b so like this b and b dash you can get the intersection point here and then a you just draw horizontal line here to get the projection of point a and then go to the c then again you can move vertical line when you reach the c sometimes it will show directly indication you can draw it if not showing go to the c and you can come back to your vertical 90 degree it will show then click it and then change the direction of the line to c so like this we got all the points as usual to get the naming go to the move option switch on the copy already I have switched on then select first click for selection second click for pick and third click for paste then right click and again for b also you can do it here then c like this the naming is finished then go to the line uh, visible line you can make the profile always visible line so from the a when it show end point then only click it from a to b b to c and back to a like this the uh, visible second step top view finished and next in the last step uh, they given uh, here you can see the last step uh, making an angle you see 
it is a uh, longest side resting and making an angle of 30 degree with vp means the same longest side is inclined to vp 30 degree so inclined to vp should be shown in horizontal plane so here we have to draw 30 degree line so go to the line you can click normal line select the normal line click it here you can enter the angle here when you're moving downside the xy you can give the naming minus means naming should, sorry angle should be minus 30 you can enter then press enter in the keyboard so the angle is restricted and you can click uh, the length how much we want and then after that you can go to the angle between option you can select these two line and the angle is 30 degree it is showing and then go to the move option because here switch on the copy the longest side a b should be placed on this line so that's why uh, hold the control when you switch on the copy option hold the control because when you want to select the multiple options multiple lines at a time we can hold the control and you can select if you want a single uh, selection you can just directly select and you can paste it but here at a time we have to select all these three lines so that's why we can use the control option keep press the control option and select the th lines when you select the lines it is activated and then release the control and go to the a don't click outside when you have to reach the point a then only you have to pick so i am going to the point a then pick it and place it because the ab should be placed by this uh, type we can fix the one point on the 30 degree line so like this the a is fixed on the 30 degree line now this b should be shifted back to here to do that we have to rotate this we have a rotate option here go to rotate option select the rotate option here we should not switch on the copy copy should be off because here we don't want copy we are just want to shift here so make sure it should be switched off then hold the control same select the three edges and here after releasing control it will ask first is fixed point and moving point here fixed point is a already it is on the 30 degree line so make it fixed point then it will ask the moving point the moving point is b go to the point b and click it now it will start rotating with respect to fixed point then go to the 30 degree line when you reach the 30 degree line then you have to left click the line is rotated and the a b is kept on the 30 degree line and then again come back to the move option select the a pick it and place it at the a then b we can place it for b then c c point is like this so like this we have moved and we made it uh, the longest side inclined to vp 30 degree and to get the last final front view go to the line select the normal line draw a projection now b dash a dash is on the xy line so that's why a draw the line up to the xy line then from the b draw the projection lines 90 degree when you if you want to uh, fail the to check the 90 degree uh, indication you can directly go to the angle here press 90 each step you can press the 90 and uh, you can draw the line like this and now for the c you can see the up to c dash here or here you can paste it click it and you can come back to the c now we got all this abc you can uh, give the namings here this is a dash and this point is b dash and this point is c dash now we got all these three points go to the line visible line select a dash you can uh, click b dash then c dash and back to a dash so like this you can join all the three co co corners and to get the final front view so this is how we have to finish it after uh, final step any namings are overlapping you can use the zoom option that is zoom area option click it when you activate it it will ask the plus indication when you click that and whatever area comes in the rectangular box it will be zoomed you can just zoom it and uh, any overlapping of the naming or if it is not placed properly you can paste it and keep it in a proper position while doing it you can switch off the copy option you can just uh, uh, keep the positions in a proper way because it is uh, most important the drawing should be appropriately done and check the dimensions uh, dimension is given your angle is given angle is given okay everything is fine okay so now the problem is finished.